may not be a big name in the sprinter's contingent of this Vuelta, but Jonas van Jenesten defeated all his rivals today in Stage 7. The 29 years old Belgian of EM clinched his first success of the season on the roads of Castile and Leon. A good opportunity to be noticed by a potential new employer, as the Swiss team will stop at the end of the season. After Simon Yates' demonstration in yesterday's finish, the Vuelta's competitors had a new hard day on the road with a hilly course over the 158 kilometers between Maceda and Pueblo de Sanabria. Darwin Atapuma, the BMC rider, started the stage with a red jersey on his shoulders for the third day in a row, and his leadership could well be preserved after the racing day. After about 10 kilometers, six men escaped in the front and their gap grew to three minutes at kilometer 22. They had a good car to play considering the slow pace of the pack, mainly due to the heat. The average speed was 37 km per hour in the first three hours. In the front were Bram Tankic, Santa Arme, Juan Lebon and Luis Angel Mate. The latter had his eyes on the best climbers' points. He was the first at the top of the first two ascents. On their part, the pack controlled the gap and never let it exceed 3 minutes 30. 65 km to the arrival, the leader's advantage even dropped to 1 minute 30. Astana initiated the chase and it was too fast for some of the riders, for TJ Van Garderen or Samuel Sanchez, for instance. Sanchez was able to get back in the pack later, though. The breakaway riders were cut 43 kilometers to the finish line. In the last descent of the day, Alto de Pardonello, 29 kilometers to the finish line, Dario Cataldo attacked and soon he was joined by Luis Leon Sanchez, Gianluca Brambilla, Simon Clark and Luis Angel Mate, still aiming to get the best climber's jersey. Again, Mate was first at the summit, but only two men made the effort in the downhill, Simon Clark and Luis Leon Sanchez. They were leading at the Flamme Rouge, but they were caught in the last meters by the peloton. Some of the favorites were held up by a crash, the massive sprint of EM paid off, and it's Belgium's Jonas van Jenek Ten, who flew to success ahead of Daniele Benetti and Alejandro Valverde. On the Vuelta, the, the chances for the victory they are really small, so we have to fight every stages, every single stages for uh, that's possible for a sprint. So I uh, I tried the first one, the second one I was a little bit uh, on the limit, and yeah, uh, th this one was one of my goals. So I, I tried really to 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 go to the finish with the with the bench. Third Belgian success in this Vuelta, Daniele Benatti, the Italian veteran of Tikkov, took the second place ahead of Valverde. The fourth place went to another Belgian, the current champion, Philippe Gilbert, green jersey wearer Gianni Mersman finished seventh. At the overall classification, Atapuma retains his lead, but now Valverde is only eight seconds behind. Froome stays in third place, followed by two Colombians, Quintana and Chavez. Victim of a crash in the final turn, Alberto Contador crossed the line with many wounds on the shoulder, the arm and the hip. The second week of race begins with a big test for the main contenders of the GC or any rider who'd want the stage success. Leaving Villal Pondo to go to the finish at the top of Alto de la Camperona, an 8.5 km long climb with 7.4% gradient. The ascent is on the Vuelta's menu for the second time and clearly it's a climber's treat. Girl 